Well, as the world marks the Apollo 11 lunar landings, there's renewed interest in sending people back to the moon, with even private companies uh, revealing their ambitions to get involved in the race. Well, where does the European Space Agency stand in all of this? Well, this morning I asked its Director General, Jan Vorner, about his plans to build a permanent base on the moon. Well, this time, the humans should not go there and just leave after a couple of hours or days but they should stay for a longer period, not colony, not a colony for, for life, but to stay there to do research, science and all of this. And therefore I also created the word of uh, Moon Village. Moon Village is not a, a, a project of some single houses, a church and a bar, but Moon Village is a concept of, of, concept of combining different actors worldwide to work together on the surface of the moon and this is what is happening right now and I'm really, very, really happy that this idea of the moon village is now reality. Okay, well not that there's anything wrong with just having a church and a bar in a village, but what would be the point of this? It's a hugely expensive operation, isn't it? Sending people to the moon. It's not only about uh, humans, it's also about robots. And therefore the moon village, again, the idea is, what is a village on Earth? A village on Earth is to combine different interests, different actors. And we are, we are trying to play a little bit the, the role of a broker for that, uh, combining different actors worldwide to work together on the surface of the moon, whether it's robot, robots or humans. And humans are always a step ahead of robots, and therefore the cooperation of ro uh, robots and astronauts out. This is what we also intend to do on the surface of the moon. Okay. Well, President Trump has made it clear that he wants to put uh, the United States back uh, on the moon by 2024, but only as a stepping stone to going towards Mars. So what's the priority for you? I'm against going back to the moon. I'm really strongly against it because going back to the moon would mean a copy of what was done 50 years ago in a race in space, um, so therefore I'm always saying let's go forward to the moon. Forward to the moon means in international collaboration, and this is what the Americans are doing as well. So if in 2024 really uh, Americans will uh, again be on the surface of the moon, then this will be together with the Europeans, because the European service module, which will bring them uh, to the moon, is uh, built in Europe. So therefore, I believe that this is a different story right now. And uh, therefore, ESA has also its own moon missions uh, with robots um, and with international partners. But we also try to be partner of the Lunar Gateway, which will be something like a bus stop to do some operations. And of course, to go to the moon is not only science, is not only technology, not only fascination and inspiration. It is also preparation to go beyond. ESA Director General Jan Vorner speaking to me there earlier.